All right, we have breaking news here that we have to talk about, and I'm going to make a very, very short video about this right now and a longer one later uh, um, later tonight about this. Uh, we have now, just as I feared, uh, because of what's going on, we're having a slowdown. Uh, Long Island Railroad rail workers are refusing overtime in a job action, and I don't blame them at all. This is from the Eyewitness News. Thanks to Matt for sharing this with me. Uh, and... Uh, it's it again we are now in a battle this we're going to talk about i'm going to have to really get involved again in this battle uh that that's going on because uh and uh i make some more videos about this or at least i'll make one later tonight talking about how we are in a serious battle we are in a cl we are heading for a class war uh between uh us and wall street uh that that's what we're heading for uh and uh, it's out of control the end game is they want us off Long Island, and uh, this is another example of it. Uh, and uh, they want us off Long Island, uh, and uh, you're going to see slowdowns. There's already an issue on the Port Washington branch that's going on all day. This resulted in an hourly service. Uh, I really hope the employees take it out on those on the South Shore. I think that they, I'm calling on the unions right now to do a slowdown on the Babylon line. Uh, Get rid of the flyers. Just refuse to do them. Uh, they need to refuse to do the flyers. These people on the South Shore who are behind this need to suffer. All right. Uh, and uh, like I said, I'm going to talk about this a lot more later on in another video. I just wanted to tell you about this breaking news from uh, Channel 7. Obviously, News 12 probably not reporting on it. Uh, and there could be a cancellation of a broad array of projects and repairs for several days. So thank you, Andrew Cuomo. Uh, and the MTA is behind all this, uh, and Pat Foy, I'm really disappointed in him, uh, and, uh, you know, at, th at this point, he's proving to be, um, a pretty crappy, uh, MTA president for doing this, uh, uh, you know, uh, and, uh, now we're gonna have lots of problems on the railroad. Everything is just falling apart, folks, for us. Uh, it's just out of control. Uh, it's out of control. Like I said, we're heading for a class war uh, on Long Island, and it's really do or die, because if we lose, we have to leave the island. But I'm going to talk about that later. Uh, right now, you can look at the article below, play the video. I'm not going to play it, uh, but we are, uh, the Long Island Railroad is having a big problem, and, oh, meth all kinds of problems in our area, folks. So, um... You know, we're going to tell you, News 12 probably won't cover any of it, because News 12, let's go to News 12 right now, actually. I'm going to go to News 12 Long Island. Let's see, so it's on their Twitter as well. We're going to put in News 12 Long Island and see if they're even covering this. I bet they're not even covering it. Let's just see. I bet they're not even covering it. Nope. Nope, they're just talking about the emergency meeting. Uh, and lots of, of course, Trump. Who cares? You know, the News 12 is gearing, you can see the News 12 is gearing to a particular demographic. And like I said in the video later, I'm not going to have some very kind words for that particular demographic. Uh, and uh, I'll tell you this, uh, I'll talk about it in that video I'm going to be doing later. Uh, but anyway, uh, I just wanted to tell you about this, get this word out that there is a slowdown going on on the Long Island Railroad. So if there are any issues, that rip, things that need fixing, projects, Expect major slowdowns. Thank you, Pat Foy. Thank you, Governor Cuomo on Wall Street for once again screwing with our lives.